Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Warjet 5-axis bevel and weld prep demonstration. My name is Benji Macera. I'm product manager here at Warjet, and this is Jeff Day. He's the senior application specialist here at Warjet. Uh, so we appreciate you taking the time out of your day. We know your time is very valuable. So without further ado, just going to get our, uh, our machine running here, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we'll be cutting today. So this piece right here, clearly not a, a functional part, but just the part to show some of the different cuts that you can do with five axis on the water jet. So uh, as you're looking through here, clearly a lot of this could not be done easily by hand. So let me walk you through some of the features that we're gonna be cutting today. We've got a 60 degree countersink for a fastener. We've also got a V groove weld prep here. So you can fill in with a lot of weld material there. Through the whole piece, you'll see this pipe running through. So that's gonna be three plates that are going for the coping there. You've got a flush cope there, and then you've also got a groove cope there. So you can, again, add more weld material. Some of the other things we've got are a 100 degree uh, flush uh, joint. We've also got a 100 degree miter joint as well. And it all comes together here at the bottom where each of these three plates converge uh, at a specified angle just to allow this to sit on the table. So I believe we've got the pump going here. So we'll go ahead and start that part. All right, there we go. So now we're beveled over doing, I believe, a 45 degree cut on this edge here. And then spin around to do one of the uh, double bevel cuts on this part here. So this is cutting. We're going to throw it over to Benji, who's over at one of our machines. So, there you go, Benji, you're on. So just going to talk a little bit about the programming and walk us through and how we run that through iGEMS. But before we do that, I wanted to talk about a little bit the mechanism that we're using today. So you saw it actually cutting over there. Uh, this is a little bit cleaner than and easier to show when it's uh, not clearly not running. So this is our Apex 60 cutting head. This is newly released, just been out since March. Uh, it is an Apex 60 because it does have 60 degrees of bevel there. So one thing when you're adding five axes to your machine, you are adding two additional axes, clearly three to five. So in addition to the X, the Y, and the Z that you'll have, you will also have in this case a C, which is your clock rotation, and then you've got an A angle as well on the arm down here. So. Um, we're really excited about this mechanism, uh, integrated very well with our system, designed specifically for our X-Series machines, uh, but we can add this on a number of different machines as well. So what's great about this is when we are adding this to our X-Series machine, you've got uh, in the X-Series a 5x5, a 5x10, and a 6x12. When adding this onto the machine, you do not sacrifice any of the 2D cutting envelope. So if you have a 5x10 machine, you can add an Apex, and you'll still get five feet by 10 feet of process area. Now, you'll also be able to add five axis and add some of these features that you're seeing that Jeff's gonna show you how to program there. So back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Benji. I'll just pull up our iGEMS package. So for more uh, complex shapes, like we're dealing with this in the, uh, this box, we like our iGEMS package. So with this package, we're able to bring in 3D models and program your parts off of that. So if I double click that, this part here, and I'll minimize this so we can still see a bit of the cutting as I'm doing this. And we'll make this one here a little bit bigger. So there we go. So, so basically here in the 3D area, we've got our model, we've got the top and bottom edges. So I can simply click on this auto button and it will add the tool path looking at those top and bottom edges and determining the projection of the stream on the part there. So once you've got your tool path, you can click on the create button. And then once we're back here, we can go ahead and do a full three axis simulation of the part, 3D simulation of the part. So this allows us to check for any potential collisions with things like fixtures and clamps and the high pressure lines and things like the, that. So we'll start this, minimize this here a bit. So 
so it's really great package uh, if you are doing parts like this. Um, certainly, if you do already have some sort of 3D cam package, you might potentially be able to use that to program our machines. But for those who don't, uh, then we can certainly give you a demonstration of this. On the machine, we also look at things like the cutting envelope of the machine, depending on the projection of the stream. So if you're doing a steep bottom bevel and it's pointing out towards the tank of the machine, we're going to look at where that stream is projecting to ensure that you don't cut through your tank. Uh, so we've got different levels of envelope checking to uh, protect, about, pr protect against things like that. Well. So let me show you another part that I've got here where I've got a clamp in the part. Just close this, go into this part here. So here I've modeled a clamp in here and I've intentionally put it so we're gonna have a collision. So now if I go in and do my simulate here, it'll show us in red where we've got a, a an issue. So then we can either adjust our tool path or our part accordingly. So I'll show you a couple other things on the controls end of it. So this is the uh, main screen that we're looking at when we're cutting. So it shows us where we are in the program. Uh, over here on the left, we are running standard GNM code. So as I mentioned earlier, if you already have your own 3D CAM software, you may very well be able to program our machine with it as we do use standard codes. Uh, as you saw earlier, when I didn't have my pump on, there's different jump options. So you can do things like jump to program start, jump to pierce point, jump to any point where you can just rapidly click anywhere on the part and jump to that location. Uh, I've also got buttons down here where you can change your feed rate. So if you want to cut a little bit faster, a little bit slower, you can adjust that. And you can also lock people out of doing things like that. Down here, we've got buttons where you can save positions on your table. So I've got this program at this save position on my table, or I can repeatedly go back to that location. I can also do things like move absolute or incremental in any axis. A couple other neat things that we have in here. We've got consumable tracking up in this maintenance area. So you can plug in different consumables that are on your machine, plug in their expected life and then as they get towards the end of the life you'll get a notice on the main window that consumables need to be addressed you just click on that and it'll bring you to that location you can also have a graphical representation of what your sheet looks like so you can get a good idea of how the material how your nest is going to fit on your sheet so you can have that you can also have irregular remnant sheets that you can save and load those on the table And then can also, as it's set it up with different users, so it's give people different permissions to do these various things. Thanks, Jeff. So as the program is finishing up here, we wanted to show you some of the pieces we'll be cutting clearly through the magic of television. And we basically pre-baked a few of these. So I'll bring some of these pieces over, open and over and show you some of the pieces we're actually cutting right now. Uh, and tell you a little bit about some of the features on them. So when Jeff was speaking earlier, he mentioned complex bevels or uh, standard bevels. So the difference between those are gonna be, if you see right here on this edge, this is what we just consider a standard bevel. And that is that the angle is consistent throughout the length of that cut. So very easy to do. You just set the head to your desired angle and then run your XY motion. When it gets a little bit more complicated, that's when we do go to that iGEMS package that Jeff was mentioning, and that would be uh, an angle like this. What makes it more complex is as we are actually cutting, that angle is going to be ever changing and, over, and to do that. So that does require our more advanced uh, five axis module in there, but it does give you a lot of freedom uh, to basically create whatever you want. So let's see if I can put this in here without messing this up or having it fall apart on me. Benji, I guess there we should go. mention to people, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to type them into the chat box and we'll try to answer any of those when we get to the end. Absolutely. Good job, so Benji. Got these together. Pipe goes right in. Uh, we've made a number of these and clearly with the precision of the water jet, you can just repeatedly make the same part over and over again. But this would make your welder's job extremely easy as opposed to trying to do some of these things by hand with a lot of grinding. So as we finish up here, Jeff, would you mind pulling up the website so I can show people a few things? 
All right. So uh, let's see where we go. All right. Well, a little bit about us. Uh, some of you already have some experience with us, our existing customers. Uh, some people are seeing us for the first time. Perhaps you heard about us in some ads or saw some things online. Uh, we are Warjet. So we have been, we've got over 25 years of water jet experience. We are a team of dedicated engineers, uh, application specialists, support technicians, all stationed here in Talmadge, Ohio. Uh, we do have remote locations and sales locations all around the US and the globe, uh, where we do have service techs uh, out of there, but all of our machines are made right here in Talmadge, Ohio in our facility, which I'm sure you can hear some of the production noises in the background as we're constantly working here. So I wanted to show you here, if you're interested in some of the things we've talked about today, literally the Apex 60, uh, just come to warjet.com. First thing you're gonna see is the uh, banner about the webinar, but this will be clearly after this, just about the Apex 60, not the webinar. Uh, we'll click on through there, and we've got some more information about the Apex 60 how you can add it to your machine, all the implications they're in, uh, brochures that you can look through, and we've also got a number of different videos where we've cut some interesting parts from a 3D puzzle to a granite dodecahedron. So it really gives you a lot of uh, opportunity to see the uh, ability of this uh, mechanism. Uh, one feature of the mechanism that uh, we didn't show here today, but I've got a little video of that working here, is it does come with an optional height setter. And so what this allows you to do is, especially with five axis, it's very important to make sure that your offset from the plate is consistent. Uh, if you're at a 45 degree angle, but your material is not flat, your cut may start out as 45 degrees, but may end up as something different along the way. So with the height setter, it's able to uh, check the height and set your Z height outside of a program but you're also able to set it so that before each pierce that you do on the machine, it will uh, recheck the height for you and reset there. So if you're interested in the Apex, please uh, go on the website, check this out, get a hold of our uh, sales staff at sales at uh, wardjet.com. Uh, I also did want to show everyone how to get to our X series, which we are, have talked about specifically with the Apex here. So just head up to the water jets tab, that's gonna be in our standard line. We do have a small format machine as well in our A-series, some of you may have uh, seen. That goes anywhere from a two foot by four foot up to a four foot by four foot. And then we run all the way up to large format, which is our R-series or our G-series. So we make water jets of any size. Uh, but specifically here on our X-series that we talked about where the Apex that we're featuring today, we're actually cutting this today on a 1530, so a five by 10, which is really our most popular size. Uh, but these also run in a five by five, the five by 10 we're using today, and then a six by 12 as well. So take some time, click around. Uh, let me check here real quick to see if we've got anything in the chat window. If I can pull this up. Got a couple things in the chat here. Uh, and I've got a question here that says, do you offer the five axis head on a water only head for focus cutting? Absolutely, we do uh, allow a five axis head. We have a dedicated water only head that has a, a very small nozzle nut at the end and this brings the cutting stream closer to the material so you can get a better quality water only cut. Uh, then also, can the height setter map the slab to be beveled? Yes, that can do that. With the iGEMS program, we can actually take uh, several points around the plate and we can map out the entire sheet ahead of time and then the Z-axis will uh, adjust to accommodate. Uh, Frank asked, how much does it cost? Uh, well, we always, it always does depend on the configuration that you have there, but I will say, being the product manager, uh, we've tried to price this thing to be what we believe the best value for your money that you can get here. Uh, but if you want an exact quote, quote, please feel free to reach out. We can figure out what your application is, your material size, and get you exact costs on those. So please feel free to reach out to us. Fortunately, I can't give a cost on exactly which one and, and which configuration right here on the webinar. But as Jeff's moving these parts off, you can see all six of those came out wonderfully. 
as he tries to find the camera. But um, if there's no more question, that really kind of concludes it for us today. We're going to continue to try to do some more of these in the future uh, with some more in-depth on programming, how to run your machine, tips and tricks, and things to look out for here. So please uh, look out for those in the future. But with that, we wanted to say thank you for taking your time today, and uh, we really appreciate it. So have a wonderful day. Thanks.